Hey guys, welcome back to another quick episode from Yours Truly. I'm your host Nando Fett, and today I'm going to be giving you guys an instructional video on how to get the multiplayer co-op campaign mod for Mountain Blade Warband working. Now this is uh, through a lot of trial and error. I have finally got my side working, so I just thought that maybe the people who are actually going to be doing this as well, who want to try it out with their friends, uh, might uh, might want to know how to get it work in the fastest possible way. So uh, that's what I'm here for. So what you're going to need to do, first of all, is uh, go to the site. I'll post it in the link below. And go to this site. I'll post that one as well. So this one right here is the actual co-op campaign mod itself. So you have to scroll down to about uh, the bottom of the page, and you'll see a multiplayer campaign mod files. Click here. So when you click there, it'll bring you to an add file, or add fly, um, address. And what you do is just wait for the countdown to go to zero, click skip, It'll go through that little thing, depending on your internet connection, how fast it'll go will vary, and it'll bring you to here. So now you just download the mod, which is about one megabyte, round it up, and um, you'll get a zip file. Now making sure that you guys have everything up to date, uh, make sure you guys have either WinRAR or a 7-zip. Now the way that that's spelt out is Win WinRAR or... 7-zip. I'm not going to show you guys how to install those, but make sure you guys have those because we're, be, we're going to be needing them for the uh, rest of the video. Now the second part is you have to download a server. So you go to the download section on uh, apachefriends.org slash download.html and you download the newest version, which is this one right here. This is the newest. This is the most stable, I believe. So what you do is just download that one and it'll bring you, or well, it'll give you a file that looks like this. So let's go ahead and install XAMPP. If you guys have never used XAMPP, it's basically a uh, series of servers um, that you, it's very easy to use actually. It just lets you run a server on your computer for games such as, that require servers to run. So um, alpha testing mods, any kind of C++ programs that need servers to actually run, and anything else that requires a uh, multi-user user input. So let's go ahead and click yes to continue. And then, okay here, that's just basically letting us know that we didn't launch the installer in admin, but we will be launching the program in admin, so it doesn't really matter. And the first one was just saying you have an antivirus, which I do not, which is very strange. Anyhow, so go next, make sure all of these are checked off. If they're not, check them off. Go next again. Just keep it as the regular folder because we're going to be needing this folder for later. Or you guys can re, uh, uh, you know, browse for a different folder by clicking on this and then selecting the folder you want. But for the tutorial's sake, I'm just going to keep it on my C drive outside of my program files. Click next, la da da, whatever. Click next, and you're ready to install. It'll bring up the example. Thank you for downloading the website, and then you click next. As this is installing, I'm going to quickly run you guys through the files that you're going to need here. So once you download that mod, you're going to open up WinRAR, you're going to get this. You're basically going to drag this onto your desktop. So in order for that to happen, let's go ahead and drag it. So there we go. It is now on my desktop. When I open it, this is what shows up. Drag it to that side. The instructions are right here. So if you open these, I have uh, Notepad++. I'd recommend getting this for anyone that uh, that needs it. Let me rewrite WinRAR and 7-zip, just in case you guys are wanting to look at those. And let's go from here. So the first step is to actually make a copy of the native version um, mod file, example actually, mod example, from Warband, for from Warband's modules folder. So what we're going to do is, oh, another necessity, obviously, is going to be a copy of Mountain Blade Warband. I got mine from Steam. Great place to get games. I play with friends. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go to Properties. We're going to go to Local Files and Browse Local Files. Here we go. Okay. So let's drag that to that side. Now in here, you're going to go to the Modules folder. And I'm going to go ahead and delete my... Actually, I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to cut it and put it into my backups folder here because these will be needed for later. So let's go ahead and cut it and there we go. Okay, so I don't need that. So what you're going to do is Control-C when you selected your native copy and then Control-V. 
it made a copy of the native mod, native example mod, and we're going to rename it to single player underscore two underscore multiplayer. You can name it whatever you want, co-op campaign, let's just name it co-op campaign, co-op camp, there we go. So we're going to play co-op camp. Now you open this up and you go to the single player multiplayer, the one that you actually to uh, downloaded, sorry. You're going to go to the mod files and you're going to copy the languages folder, entire languages folder, click on something like info.pages and then control V to paste that in. Now that's going to over that's going to uh, place all the proper language files that w that we need into our languages folder and we're going to go ahead and copy this address. So all you do to copy the address is you click up here, you control C and the address has been copied. Now on the s the other side, you go back and we got to go into the module system. Let me check if this is installed not yet. Okay. So in the module system, you have to search for module uh, two, two, two module files dot pys. Uh, you gotta type, just type in module, and what you're gonna look for is module dot py, uh, dot, sorry, module underscore info dot py, and then you're gonna need module dot strings, or underscore strings dot pi. So let's open up the info first. Edit that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Ugh, screw off. Okay. So here's the actual module.info. It gives you an example of what you have to actually place in there, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually paste that thing we copied before and replace all of these um, these reverse slashes to forward slashes. I don't even know if that's the... God. Ugh. I hate this. I got a new mouse and I'm not used to it. So we just have to replace all these. This is tedious, I apologize, but this is just another step to get that co-op working. This is very early alpha, by the way, guys, so don't expect a miracle. Just saying. This is just uh, basically for test purposes. Now, by the way, I, got, I do have to uh, mention, I'm going to mention it now, I forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video, this is not my mod. I do not take uh, any... I don't take any credit for this, I'm just doing this so you guys that want to actually um, get a more, I guess, in-depth tutorial are going through this video. So I'm just doing this for you guys here. Alright, we're going to have module info and we filled this out. We replaced all the um, reverse slashes with forward slashes. I call them reverse slashes, backslash, whatever you want to call them. Feel free to call them whatever. Uh, okay, and then you exit this. You can, uh, you can already find... Nah. Okay, I'm just going to remove all those. Okay, then you go down to strings. You won't have those issues popping up, hopefully. If you do, then just read through it and figure out what you want to do with them. Usually I just click no because it's asking if you want to keep the things that cannot be found anymore um, in the Notepad++. But if you only have Notepad, then just keep in mind it's a bit harder to do in Notepad, but it's the same, it's the same thing, technically. Alright, so once we actually opened up the module.string which looks like this, module underscore strings, scroll all the way to the bottom, and right here, this is what we're going to need to replace. That IP. Dead IP, though. So what I did to get mine to work is I used Hamachi. Now, you can use it with your um, with your actual public IP, which you can find at whatsmyip.com, or just go to Google and type in what's my IP. But uh, what I did was I actually launched my uh, Hamachi, and I got it from there. So, in Hamachi, don't mind, copy, right click on the actual address up here, or left click, copy IVP4, and down here, right click and then paste it. Don't edit anything else, make sure you're only editing that right there. Oop. Yeah, come on. I'm, I'm a coder, so Control Shift Z is actually my undo and uh, save that. So once that is saved, let's go ahead and put that down. Um, that's all we need to do in the module system. And by this time, your control panel, your exam, should be installed. So let's go ahead and uh, uncheck this, click finish, and let's launch it manually. Close out any other windows that may be uh, hovering around too. 
So let's look for example. Control panel. There it is. Okay, I'm going to open the file location by right clicking on that and opening file location. Yours might be on your desktop, so you can just do the same. Right click and open file location. But if you can't find it, it should be in your program data, Microsoft, Windows, Start Menu, Programs, and then XAMPP. Or you can just find it down here in XAMPP, which is right here. Control. Right click on this, go to properties, go to compatibility, and make sure run this program as administrator is checked off. Once that is the case, you launch it, and you are uh, greeted with this beautiful control panel. Let's go ahead and ex uh, let's minus that down for now. Okay, so the next step here is we're going to have to start the, Ap the Apache server and the MySQL server. So let's start both of those and make sure both of these ports are forwarded. Um, actually, in this case, 80 is always usable, so the only port you're going to need to forward is 3306. Actually, since we're using Hamachi, so I don't even think you need to port forward ports, but in case this doesn't work on your end, just try and forward those ports, because I always have these ports forwarded, even if I don't need them. So, okay, so now that we have these, click on the admin panel on MySQL to make sure that it's working. And if you get a page like this, you have done everything right. If you do not, then go back a few steps in this tutorial and um, fix what, uh, try and follow the steps. Um, okay, close that out. Now then, so since this is all fine and dandy, we're going to build the module. Now what we did in the module info is we placed the actual address that the um, build, built mod files will go to. Uh, so that that would be wherever this is so this address so double click build module you'll get this and it's just start building the module for you it'll say variables.txt is not found you'll see all these starting to replace new things popping up so on and so forth and it'll start building it for you now while that's building what else do we need to do okay so while that's building Let's go to the module system, go back one, and open up web server uh, web server files. You're going to need all of these, by the way. So as of this moment, uh, let's okay. So this is finished. Press space, and your mod is completely compiled. So co-op camp is now an official mod. You can now use this. So that step's done. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to navigate to our local C disk. Going to go to XAMPP, the install folder, HT Docs. And this is the root folder. The root folder is not MySQL data. It's your HT docs. And in order to double check this, you copy all this, you paste it into here so it looks as such, and you go to your browser, and let's say you type in um, localhost slash test.php and if this comes up that means it's drawing the test.php from here and showing it on here now the other test you can do to make sure the multiplayer thing is working is you type in multiplayer and if you see 1020 then you've done everything correctly if not rewind to a previous step and follow the instructions from there, since we have all those placed into the proper locations, we got to make sure that this is always running when we want to join the server. We're going to go ahead and exit this. We're going to go ahead and exit this. And we're going to launch our Mountain Blade. I'm going to launch mine a windowed so I can show you guys what I'm doing. So configure, da da da, video, start windowed. And let's go with a smaller version, so 1200 by 800. Okay. Now then, let's go ahead and play Mountain Blade. Hopefully you guys can see this stuff. There you go. Okay. So that, sorry about the first one. Didn't launch windowed mode. But um, the rest of it will. So this portion right here, all you guys need to worry about is the everything loading properly. So make sure that everything loads all the way to full. Oh, and another thing, 
There you go. So as long, if you can get into this main menu, then you did everything well. Uh, sorry, perfectly. I just gotta make sure you guys know that this is not my proto. This is not my mod. This is, uh, I believe it's by the Dragon. Um, forumtailworlds.com and you go to this index topic this is his mod this is not mine I'm just trying to make a video for you guys uh, so you guys can get this working with you and your friends so let's go ahead and start a new game when you start a new game it no longer goes to the uh, regular start new game as it did before in this case since you actually uh, got everything properly placed and you select the right module you click register account and you log in. Let's go with Bakos for mine and boobs. If you press continue, by the way, if you can pause it really quickly on that video, when you press continue, it'll say waiting for server response. If it sits on that screen for more than 10 seconds, you've done something wrong. Or your firewall is uh, blocking it, or your antivirus is blocking it, or you haven't forwarded the right ports. And lastly, Skype is running. If Skype is running, port 80 is being taken up. Now sometimes you can get it to run with Skype in the background, but I'm not sure what I did to actually get that to happen. But anyway, so let's go ahead and click realistic. That's why these arrows are pointing up to realistic. And our name is up there. I'm just gonna give myself attributes in random locations. And give myself one-handed skills. There we go. Now when you click done, adjust your character as you see fit. I'm going to randomize it. I'm going to be an old brown haired man or br old brunette and then you select the area you want to start. I'm going to start in the Nords because I love the Nords and here we go. It's going to desync for the first little bit. It's going to ask you to log in again so you you log in with the uh, same username and passwords, password as you did before. Click, click continue and here we go. Alright guys, this is where everyone spawns as of this moment, I believe. But as long as you guys have some uh, a good connection going. Oh, lost item. So you get 2,000 denaire immediately. So let's open my inventory. You can see that I have 2,000. Nothing else. So I need to go to a... Uh, the city. Now the only downside to this, for some reason... If uh, you guys can see this, who made this mod, every time, every now and again, it asks me to log in again. Now I don't know what that, what the cause is, uh, but it happens at random. So uh, if you guys can let me know what that, what I can do to fix that, then uh, be more than uh, more than obliged to make another tutorial video for the guys that uh, that are having the same issue. But right now, what you can do is you can buy yourself the right tools you need. And let's say I'm just going to quickly buy a shield. A hatchet and hunting bow. Is there any cheap arrows? Yes, there is. 440 in there. Buy myself a cap, a thick pelt, and some shoes. Maybe some gloves as well. Alrighty, and there we go. There you go, I did it again. See, I'm always confused as to what... Oh, that's not it. I really need to know why this is happening, because uh, I'd love to play this with my friends. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching another video. From yours truly, I've been your host, Nando Fett, and I hope to see you guys next time. Cheers, and happy hunting.